Hello and welcome to iNani.com. C Sharp.net Programming, Level 2. Chapter 1, Part A. This course will teach you programming for the .NET platform using C Sharp version 4. We start with an introductory level for beginners and take to it the advanced level. This tutorial is a team effort by a few individuals who have been using C Sharp as their language of development at their workplaces. This tutorial uses Visual Studio 2010 to demonstrate and all the sample codes are created using Visual Studio 2010. However, you should not have any problems in running the sample programs using Visual C Sharp 2010 Express. Visual C Sharp 2010 Express Edition is available for free from Microsoft. This tutorial tries to provide you with a variety of code samples on each and every possible topic related to C Sharp.net version 4. What is C Sharp? C Sharp is a programming language designed for Microsoft's .NET platform. C Sharp is a general-purpose, type-safe, object-oriented programming language. The chief architect of the language since its first version is Anders Hegelsberg, creator of Turbo Pascal and architect of Delphi. The goal of C Sharp is to provide a simple, safe, modern, object-oriented, internet-centric, high-performance language for .NET development. C Sharp was first announced, in July 2000, with the announcement of the .NET platform by Microsoft. It was released, in January 2002, with .NET Framework 1.0. C Sharp was first called, COOL, which stood for, C-like object-oriented language. C Sharp is a strongly typed object-oriented language, whose code visually resembles C++ and Java. This decision, by the C Sharp language designers, allows C++ developers to easily leverage their knowledge to quickly become productive in C Sharp. C Sharp syntax differs from C++ in some ways but most of the differences between these languages are semantic and behavioral, stemming from differences in the runtime environments in which they execute. .NET is designed to provide an environment within which you can develop almost any application to run on Windows. While C Sharp is a programming language that has been designed specifically to work with the .NET framework, Using C Sharp, you can develop Windows desktop applications using WinForms, WPF. Write dynamic web pages with ASP.NET and MVC. Develop XML web service or WCF components for distributed application. Or even a smart client application that allows for online and offline capabilities and much much more. It has been evolving since its first release in 2002. C Sharp and .NET have revolutionized the way developers write their programs, and have made programming on Windows much easier than it was before. .NET is a framework for programming on the Windows platform. C Sharp is the language that was designed from scratch to work with .NET. The Common Language Runtime CLR, short for Common Language Runtime is also known as .NET Runtime. The CLR is just what its name says. A runtime execution environment for .NET Framework. Code running under the control of the CLR, is termed as Managed Code. Let us now look at some of the features provided by CLR. Language Interoperability .NET supports a wide range of programming languages, which is then compiled into intermediate language code. 
The IL code requires CLR to execute. All the core features of the CLR such as memory management, assembly loading, security, exception handling, thread synchronization etc., are available to all programming languages that target the CLR. In fact, at runtime the CLR cannot know the programming language the developer used. This makes it easy for people to develop .NET applications using the programming language of their choice. Microsoft created several language compilers that target the runtime. C++, C Sharp, Visual Basic, F Sharp, Iron Python, Iron Ruby, and an intermediate language assembler. In addition to Microsoft, various colleges, universities and companies have created compilers that produce code to target the CLR. Some of these compilers are Ada. APL, CAML, COBOL, Eiffel, Forth, Fortran, Haskell, Lexico, Lisp, Logo, Lua, Mercury, ML, Mondrian, Oberon, Pascal, Perl, PHP, Prolog, RPG, Scheme, Smalltalk, and TCL, TK. Code written in any of the above-mentioned programming languages has to be compiled before it can be executed by the CLR. Compilation occurs in two stages. Compilation of source code to Microsoft Intermediate Language. Compilation of IL to platform-specific code by the JIT compiler in the CLR. Compilation of source code to Microsoft Intermediate Language Code written in any .NET supported language has to be compiled using the language-specific compiler. Regardless of the compiler, the result is always a managed code, which is the IL code. A managed module is a standard 32-bit Microsoft Windows portable executable file or a standard 64-bit Windows Portable Executable PE32 Plus, file that requires the CLR to execute. In other words, all CLR-compliant compilers produce IL code. IL code is sometimes referred to as managed code, since it is managed by CLR. Compilation of IL to platform-specific code by the JIT compiler in the CLR. JIT, short for just-in-time, is what compiles the IL code into platform-specific code. Instead of compiling the entire application at one shot, the JIT compiler simply compiles each portion of code as it is called, just-in-time. This two-stage compilation process is very important, because the existence of the Microsoft Intermediate Language is the key to providing many of the benefits of .NET. Platform Independence Platform independence means that the same file containing IL code can be executed on any platform. As mentioned earlier, the JIT compiles the IL code to platform-specific code just before executing it. In other words, by compiling to IL code, you get platform independence for .NET. However, the CLR is only available to Linux and Windows environment, which makes it theoretically capable of being executed on these two operating systems. Performance Improvement with JIT compilation, once the code has been compiled into a native executable, it is stored until the application exits, so that it does not need to be recompiled, the next time that portion of code is run. This process, is more efficient than compiling the entire application code at the start, because the likelihood that large portion of any application code, actually being executed, in any given run is very minute. Using the JIT compiler, such code will never be compiled. This is the reason, why the managed IL code execution is almost as fast as executing native machine code. Not just that, 
but since the JIT compiler knows exactly what processor type the program will run on, the code is precisely compiled to match the type of processor. This means that the JIT can optimize the final executable code to take advantage of any features offered by that particular processor. In the next chapter, I am going to a get close up with .NET, where I will be covering some of the features that it provides us. If you have any questions or need more information on a part of this video, please use the forum at ignani.com. We will be happy to help you. You can find a lot of free video tutorials, training materials, how-to videos and much much more at our site www.ignani.com. Check out the forum topic related to this tutorial on the site for all your questions.